Hello guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the Faction XP series. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys have a freaking awesome day. And welcome to today's episode of Factions. Guys, thank you so much for all the support lately. If we can smash a thousand likes, that would be freaking amazing. Let's get into today's episode. So I've got something to show you. So this is what... Oh no, wait, where is it? It's over here, I think. This is what we've been working on. So this is the idea that I had to make the show more interesting. Even when people are, so, even when people are offline. And it's something you can grind for. No matter what. No matter what time of the day it is, what time of night it is, you can do it. And it'll... What this idea is, is it's the idea of how the season will end and what will happen. Okay, so pretty much what it is, is there's a list of items that have to be collected. Once all these items are collected, the server then goes into death ban mode. But the way death ban mode works is that if you get killed by a mob, you don't get banned. If you die from fall damage, you don't get banned. Unless that fall damage was caused by a player, then you'll get banned. You have to be banned, or you have to be banned. You have to be killed by a player and then you get death ban so it's pretty much once the server goes into death ban once all those items are collected i guess war breaks out and whoever is last la it's pretty much last faction standing and that's pretty much it so the items that you have to grind for obviously you'd be grinding for in between Th these could be tweaked around it might be too much might be too little but like it depends we have six factions all working together and the whole aim of the game is to work together for this as well so um so a dove of iron, oh well, a, a like a chest of iron, just not iron blocks, just iron. So that's easy, that could be done. A chest of diamonds, that can be done as well. It, like, don't think it can, because it definitely can. Some coal, that can be done in five seconds. Quartz, that can be done pretty fast as well. And then we move on to the rare special chest. So in the special chest right now, we have a set of prop four that you have to obtain. That you have to get ten gaps, sharp four, three weaver skulls, frost walker boots, Dragon head and 32 cobwebs and once you get all these items you have to place them in these chests and once all these items are collected all these items here The server goes into death by mode boom That is it and then we will be finding out to see who will win the map and to be honest It's probably gonna be lucky who wins the map because like I can just see me falling like Dying a stupid way or something like that. I don't know. Hey, what have we got? Wait There's two witches just fighting there at each other. Are they? Yo, these two witches are just fighting each other. What the hell? How? These guys are strong. They're so strong. Hang on, let's get him. Hang on, can I? I want to get a health pot. Give me a health pot. Oh no, go away. Ah, shovel. Give me a shovel, actually. I wouldn't mind a free shovel. Nope, okay. God, they're killing each other. How How much health do they have? Oh my god. They have a freaking ton of it. Okay, but oh, yes! Give me that, give me that. Oh my god. Please say you have one as well. Oh my god. Oh no, we got it. Yes, we got a potion of healing. GG. Okay, right. That's very nice. Oh, there's another one up there. Dude, they're so strong. They have like 32 hearts, I think, or something like that. Okay, so yeah, that's that idea anyway. That's it. I'm gonna go F home. Um, I'll show you how, what the F home is looking, at, looking like right now. The dragon head on top has been done. You can clearly see it's a dragon head, right? Clearly, you can see, you know, it's, it's kind of a dragon's head. Or it's kind of like, yeah, like, yeah. It's a dragon head. Yeah? You see it? <laughs> you see it? Okay, yeah. We did it the best we can. You know, we're not the best pro builders ever. The drummer actually did most of it. So shout out to drummer. We got a farm going. Sweet. Okay, actually, I didn't even see that. Oh, look. This is a new beetroot. Is this beetroot? Beetroot. Oh my god, awesome. Can I eat it? Can I just straight out eat it? Probably. Okay, can. awesome. We got a farm going, but obviously, this ain't going to be a proper place where we're going to have a farm at all because, you know, we want to make it down that way. Up here wouldn't be good for growing, to be honest. Not enough Okay, room. so what we're going to do this episode, or for the start of it anyway, depends, but we'll see what happens because it's pretty much going to be an adventure. We're going to head out and just scout for enemy teams or traces of the enemy teams because I don't know how well they're set up compa compared to how we're set up so I'm gonna find that out so I'm gonna go uh, just walk around see what I can find in the world and you know what I'm probably gonna raid if I find something I might raid some stuff now you might be saying that's against the rules but not really we've actually changed the rules up a little bit you can you can kind of raid now when they're offline oh nice oh my god we're doing so good um, yeah, but you can kind of raid when you're offline, especially the, the owners kind of can. So, for example, Verb could come and raid my stuff, but obviously, don't come and take, like, my golden apples. Like, don't do anything like that. You could come and take some cobblestone and stuff like that, and that's probably what I would ra raid, because that would be decent. They, I know it sounds silly, but it would be decent materials just to take them. You know, you take cobblestone, obviously don't go taking diamonds unless they're online. But, you know, I want to be a bit more brutal. I want them to come to us. I want to start the wars this map, so... And I just want to see how hard I get bit for it. Probably very, very hard. Karma is... Really bad. Okay, to make a shield, um, I think you just kind of like make it like a 
like a, like a shape of a banner, is it? Oh, is it? Yeah, oak. Oh, and there we go. I had it. Right. So, yeah, making a shield. It'll come in handy. Trust me on this one. Oh, the wrong thing. It will come in handy. Trust me. Um, especially when we get attacked by mobs. Because the other day we got wrecked by that really OP zombie. And we could have, like, literally blocked him. And we could have survived, probably. And we got a hell pot now. Okay, GG. So, we're going to take some wood with us. We need to get food. That's the only issue. So, hopefully, we just get food probably on the, on the way. And we'll take, like, a little bit of coal with us in case we need it. And we should be good to go. And hopefully... We find some base and we take some of their nice resources. Very nice ones. Okay, we got a bit of food. Uh, we found some of the chests, so we're good to go. But we probably will have to still kill some cows when we see them and stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll head out. We'll head back in Spawn's direction. And we'll go straight towards the mountains. Because that was the way Spawn was facing originally. So I think a lot of people could have went that way in the, on the first day. So we'll, we'll see what's happening. Actually, only volume. I don't know who's, a, who's he a part of. Who only volume. Okay, right. So we're currently at Spawn right now. So I don't know what to do. Should we just... I feel like I should maybe head off. I should go into Spawn. I should head off from the direction it was facing originally. I think it's facing that way now. Like, it was facing towards the hills. What's my view distance at? So I think when I first joined in, I was by, was it, was, wait, was the, was, when I first started my show on 1.9, was it here? I think it was here. But I think it was like everyone was facing that way when they spawned in. So that would be the hot spot that everyone would be at, that direction. So we should maybe head in that direction. Yeah, see, look, right here, right there. Yeah, this, this yeah, this is definitely the way. This is the way that hopefully I think everyone wanted. I think Jenison went this way. I don't know, even know if he has a base up yet. Probably does. Everyone probably has a base up, but like I don't know if they're recording it or not. Um, actually, no, Jensen did say actually he had, so he had something set up, so we might be able to find something. Oh, actually, we can use F map to find places. Hang on, F map on. So, oh well, okay. So someone, if they've claimed a base or if they've done a little bit of a claim, we could actually if they have an F home there, if they have a home there, they have to have claimed. So yeah, there we go. Only mercenaries are the ones with like one home at the moment. So. If we stick on F map, we should be able to find it. But some places might not have claimed for the safety feature of not being able to be found. But I don't know. I guess what we'll do is we'll do like a circle around spawn. This is like this is like a searching tactic on Psycho as well, and um, but not really to the same extent really. But like I usually would search like um like I would search places that I haven't searched before, and then I wouldn't I would make sure that I wouldn't go back over them. So I like to do circles sometimes on Psycho. So that I don't keep checking spots that I haven't checked, um, because that's really annoying. So I can run around in a circle, and I can see what exactly I can find. Oh, and Verb and Only Volume are online. I don't know who Only Volume's with. I think he might be with Donza, I'm pretty sure. Or he's a mercenary, I'm not too sure. Oh, do you see that? Oh, wait. Oh, no, there's multiple. Hang on. You see that? Over there. I don't know if you can really see that, but it looks like... I wish I had Opti Optify right now. But it looks like those two leaves are broken. So that could be a place where someone's went. That could be like, well, not they're not set up there, obviously, but they could have went in that direction. So maybe we should follow that lead. We should go take a look over there because it's like we're pretty much tracking down people. People leave stuff behind, especially on SMP. You know, you're definitely tracking down people. So, like I said, I'm gonna be a little bit more evil this map. So yeah, if I do see someone, I probably I'm not. I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna kill him, but I don't know what I'm gonna be like. I I, I don't know. I kind of want to be more forward, but I'm not too sure. Okay, so over here, um, I think that... Oh, no, I fell off. Okay, over here, I think uh, this is where... So the leaves are up here. I don't know if they're actually broken. They could be just naturally generated wrong, but they did look really... Actually, yeah, why would they be broken from the top? So hang on, do I have any blocks here? Oh, there I do. Right here, one of these was broken. Yeah, look, see, look, one here. Okay, that's my cover, so don't worry about it. Another one here. Hmm, weird. All the rest seem to be fine. And another one broken there. Hang on, let's see if we follow it. Someone was jump, jumping. I, I, I don't know, it might be weird. Someone was jumping from tree to tree, so. And there's no there's no more broke. So I'm not really too sure, but hang on, we'll keep we'll keep looking. We'll go in this direction. We've got a bit of a lead, maybe. But this is interesting. It's interesting hunting down people. Because if I find them, I'm probably gonna raid them. Like I said, probably not steal everything from them. But yeah, the rules have been kind of abolished right now. So yeah, you can kind of raid away. But obviously in moderation, you know, it is an SP, you know, and you, you know, because whoever starts a war now, there is, there is consequences to it. If you start a war, you could be getting your enemy walking straight in your front door by you letting them in pretty much by losing a war. So yeah, that can happen and you'll probably hear more about that in the future. But I think I did explain it a while ago. Pretty much if I didn't explain it, if, when you go to war, if you attack someone, you declare war on someone. If the war goes on for a while, you have to fight it out in a like fight um, in an arena, 5v5, whatever with your faction members, whoever loses the fight. You have to, like, if I lost the fight to, say, uh, Dawn, 
Don, I, Don would have to, I would have to invite Don into my base and let him take whatever he wants to take. Okay, so, hang on, we've got, like, mountains and stuff over here. This could be definitely a good area that someone, like, this is what someone would be drawn to, if you think about it. If you think about it, if you're running this way, you were getting started, you would go over that way and you'd be kind of, like, drawn to that area. So, we can have a look there, we can see what we got. If not, we'll probably loop back to spawn and we'll go again. Oh, here we go, here we go, I just saw Gringo, who's Gringo's? F. Who gringos? I think that's Dawn. That's Dawn's at. Yo, they have so many claims. What the hell? Okay, where? What direction is that in? Is it this way? Okay, we'll we'll run this way. If it goes out of the claims, no. Wait, is that closer? I don't know. I'm so bad with F maps sometimes. Okay, it's probably west. Okay, right. We're heading straight for it now. We're heading straight for it. Hopefully, you guys can see. It. Hopefully, I edit in something here, and um, so you, the gamma's up more. All right, we're heading straight for it. We're heading straight for it. Okay, let's keep going. I think we're heading straight for- yes we- no wait, now we're heading away from it? Okay, there's a mine here. Okay, someone's just dug a random tunnel. Very nice. Anything in here? Any chests? No. Dude, they got a lot of claims. I think these claims, I think they've done it wrong, sadly. Um, I will have to let them know that they- I th it looks like what they've done is a slash F claim like 5 or 10. Whoa, I think they don't know- oh, oh! <gasps> there we go, there we go. There we go. Yo, just found Dawn's base. Actually, wait, why am I sneaking? Dawn's isn't online. <laughs> Dawn's, yeah, he's not online. Um, okay, so we're good, we're good. Wait, F who, wait, is thinking about part of it. F who, Gringos, Gringos. Nope, none of them are online. None of them are online. And we got a zombie here. So we can see what they got. They haven't got a full base up. Okay, I was expecting something bigger. That was anticlimactic. I was seriously expecting something a lot bigger than that. Um, but nothing seems to be here. Oh, we have a sign. Donza, I typed F claim and it and it, it overclaimed. It's a bug. Can you unclaim? Thanks, Cherry. Okay, Cherry. Who's who's Cherry part of? Is he part like is that is that part of Gringos? Is Cherry? Cherry. Oh, Cherry's part of Gringos. Okay, I, I thought maybe like another faction was here or something. Oh God. Oh oh my God. Verb. Oh wait, Verb. Is he ready? Hello, Verb. Hello, Verb. Is he ready? F map off. Hello. Is is he raiding here or what? I don't. I actually don't even know. And what we got? Okay, what have we actually got in chess? Okay, so um, hi, how's it going? Um, so iron sword. drop me the iron sword. No. Okay, so Verb is apparently meant to be making a base with Donza. Um, I just let him know that he broke like the the rules are broken there. Like obviously he didn't intend to. Um, because you can only claim until your walls. So really, they could only claim like here until there, and then maybe like a square out for now. So yeah, um, just gonna take some meat. You know, feed my family. I, he'll probably see this, but I'm just gonna act like I'm a friendly. But like, I'm, I've told you guys, I'm gonna try to be more evil. And um, we're all at the same, like, level here. So what, if I steal from Verb now, or if I steal from Donza, it, it doesn't matter, we're all at the same level. And they've also kept some of their enchanted armor starter gear, but I got rid of it, but it's, it's fine, I'll let them keep it. Um, cause it'll probably break soon. So yeah, just, I've taken some iron. I'm just, you know, oh no, actually, I, I, I Okay, I'm gonna take a saddle. That's it. If I see, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a saddle. That's it. That's all. That's all I'm taking because obviously, I, well, and I'm taking a bit of this meat and six iron because I'm taking the saddle. I don't know if he knows I'm stealing from him, but I, I don't know. Um, so I'm only gonna take the saddle because obviously saddles are rare a little bit, and Verb's meant to be living with him. So like, as you can see, they're living together. So technically, they are online. So it's good. We're good here because <laughs> they're meant to be making a base together. So. That means if I go to war with them, I go to war with both of them, I think. I'm not really too sure about that one. So yeah, very nice sad. I'm just gonna say, um, just verb. Thanks for the saddle, BB. So yeah, I do want to be a bit more evil this map. That's just the way I want to go. Last map I was very passive, so I'm gonna be the one to be evil. <gasps> oh, and he just shot him. He just said no problem. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm being friendly. <laughs> Which I probably am. <laughs> Okay, right, we're gonna head home. I just ran away from there. I don't know if he knows that I'm being friendly or not, uh, but I just said thanks for the saddle. Hopefully he'll know when he watches the video, but yeah. Um, but yeah, we kind of abolished the rules of raiding, but you can raid now when you're offline. We're abolishing those rules. So like, for example, I can get raided when I'm offline, when I'm on. <gasps> Yo, zombie. That was, those are pretty damn good for the snapshot too. I know that's like, it's not amazing. It's lever armor, but still, that's, that's still pretty good. I'll probably never use it though. But yeah, we're abolishing rude. Now we can we can raid when you're offline if if you can. Obviously in moderation. Now the only thing is if you raid when you're offline, you know, be careful what you take. Don't just take everything. Don't just take all the good stuff. You know, take take wood, take general resources, but 
try not really touch their like iron, diamonds, rare, rare stuff. But there I just took Verb Saddle. Now I know that's very, very bad. Uh, but, well not Verb Saddle, but I took Dawn's a saddle, saddle. Well, Dawn's a slash Verb, but Verb was online. I told him, he, he, wasn't, sus he wasn't suspicious at all that I was in his base. So, maybe he doesn't know. Maybe they don't know the real me, this, this map. So, hmm, we'll find out. But it's time to claim our... But it's time to claim our base, so I'm gonna do this now. Cause as you can see, like look, we only have one claim. So the way you gotta claim is F claim on. So now when I walk around, you claim the base like this. So you run along your walls like this, so you only claim like just your walls. And obviously a little bit outside it will be claimed, but at least you're not claiming a huge chunk, because that's the way it works. So obviously we don't right, want everything. Here we go, claimed. now it's working. So yeah, you just literally claim everywhere you can. So we need to make like artificial rivers, like hopefully I'm gonna kick off the war. Like, so the plan is I'm gonna be the the genison of last map, but, but do maybe in a better style, you know, not have a place that looks like mortar maybe, I don't know, probably could turn into mortar if all the attacks you can get, but I don't know, just start like, you know, like, this is SMP, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the one who stirs up a lot of trouble, and um, that's the plan for this, this, for this map anyway, that is, and maybe halfway through this map, I might become good if I get my, if, I wanna see if I'll get karma, like, will I get bitten really hard, because last, like, I wanna test something, because if you know, last, map, you know, Jenison and Raven, you know, they, they, they were, they were what I'm gonna be. And look how hard they got bitten. They got bitten so freaking hard. It was ridiculous. But like, I want to see like, is it just literally karma? Will I get bitten that hard as well since I'm gonna be now the bad guy? Probably will. I guess we'll just have to find out. But we can get a horse, but we don't really want horses, we were saying. Like, we got, we want to make boats everywhere. That's what we want to do. Yo, we're getting, like... Th th I'm going to put those Death Strider boots in here, because they are actually pretty special. And we're going to put the saddle in there. And the iron. And then, boom. So, for the last bit of this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some mining. Because, obviously, if I'm going to be the bad guy, and I'm going to start stuff off. I've already kicked stuff off by doing that with Verb, and Verb doesn't really know yet. Or maybe he does, he just can't. They can't do anything about it yet, maybe. I'm not really too sure. But I need to make sure I'm on top of myself, because if I'm not, and I have like barely any resources, and they keep attacking after attacking, pfft, I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> Absolute slaughter. We're gonna head down to some mining, and hopefully, we'll find a gapple. That would be beautiful. Okay, guys, so I did some mining. Uh, got a lot of iron ore, got a decent amount of coal, and 41 coal, uh, 41 gold ore, and 9 diamonds, and yeah, redstone's redstone. Um, but I actually looped back around. I came from that way. I actually looped back around. I just came through like over there, swam up that water drop there. Um, but I've actually looped back around to my second episode where I saw this and I was like, I was gonna mine it, but I was like, that was too risky, but I'm actually gonna go for it. So I've looped back around. I've done this full circle from last time. It's really weird. It's like perfect. I was mining for a good 30 minutes. And yo, we got some good materials. I just wanna grab this because it was annoying me actually. I was thinking of this the other day. I was like, I should come back down for this because if we find like an emerald or a, like a, a villager town, we could do some trading then. So there we go. We're done. I'm heading home, um, so yeah, we're done, we got some resources, like, I have to make sure that the Q crew and I keep uh, keep up with getting uh, lots and lots of resources, because, you know, if we're gonna be the bad guys, we need to. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end this episode here, hope you guys enjoyed, maybe Verb will find out very, very soon what I've just done, and uh, Verb could be knocking on our front door with Dawnza, because I'm guessing they're allied, so anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next one.